here I'm boiling the tomato with some pepper in it and onions. So before we cook the wheat stew, I'm parboiling the tomatoes first. Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazing Cherish Kitchen. Um, uh, first of all, let me thank all my subscribers. Uh, thank you for subscribing. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing fine. Um, if today is your first time of coming across Amazing Cherish Kitchen, please don't forget to subscribe. Press the notification button so when I upload new videos, you'll be able to see them and view them. Thanks. Uh, today we're going to be making a stew, African stew for rice. That's what we're going to be making today. And here are the ingredients I'm going to be using. So I've got onions here, sliced onions, chicken. I'm going to boil the chicken. Then I've got um, goat meat, turkey, smoked turkey here. I've got shaki and pomo there. I've got dry fish, derica, oil, I've got uh, all purple seasoning, stock pot, no cubes, I've got a uh, blended garlic ginger, and then I've got thyme, curry, and no chicken. Again, then I've got um, um, blended um, crayfish and salt. So these are all we are going to be using today. And this one as well, the red pepper, the big red pepper has been blended as well. So we're going to start off now with our stew. The first thing we do is to put water in the pot. So let's turn the cooker on. So we we'll pour some water in the pot then bring in the salt not too much salt Um, we bring in the, um, the hard stuff first, which is the shaki and the bomo. It's been cleaned already, but this is harder, so we we'll start off with that one. So we cover that for a few minutes, and then come back and put the rest. So in. the meat, uh, the shaki and the bomo is been boiling for some time now. So now we need to put in the goat meat and the turkey because I wanted that to be a little bit softer. That's harder. The shaki and the bomo. So now the goat meat is in there. Then we can now put the chicken as well. Bring in the chicken for the stew. Begin to season now. Put some onions and leave some for later for the stew. Bring in some blended garlic and ginger to season the meat. Some chicken, no chicken. Um, some curry powder that's like a uh, one spoon of curry powder some thyme as well to season the meat and that one spoon of thyme and another one uh, no chicken so I'm using two no chicken for this meat to season this meat. And then I will just say everything together now. So 
cover that up um if i forget this one as well i can put a little bit of this i like using maggi sauce it really really gives it a good taste then we allow the meat to cook the meat has been cooking for some time now the meat is cooked now so the next thing i'm going to do is to take the meat out put in the oven because i don't like frying my meat but you can fry it if you want uh, the chicken the goat meat you can use whatever meat you want to use and you can also fry it but i don't like frying my meat so i'm going to take them out put in the oven then we we'll start to fry this too so I'll turn the gas cooker off for now This is smelling very nice already. The aroma is so great. Mm -hmm. no, I love chicken. It smells nice all the time. Great flavor. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to take out the chicken, the turkey, and the goat meat and put everything in the oven. So I'm going to be putting the chicken in the oven now. So we leave that in the oven and then we can begin to fry this too. So now the next thing is, now that the chicken, um, the meat is in the oven, the next thing is to start frying the stew now. So we bring in the oil, put the oil in the pot. Depending on the quantity, like today I'm cooking a lot of stew, so I'm using a lot of oil as well. Normally I don't like too much oil, but because the quantity of, of the stew, so I'm bringing in a lot of oil. So you allow that to heat up a little bit, not too much, then you bring in the onions. The onions is fried now, so the next thing is to bring you the parboiled tomatoes. So, I've already parboiled this tomato to dry it up so that it tastes nice, you know, make it thick. So, to put the parboiled tomatoes in the on, uh, pots, and then we put some derica to make it thick and red as well in the stew. This will make the stew thick and red. You just have the rica there. Then you bring in the ginger, garlic and the onions. Blended. Then also you bring in this um, red pepper to make it give it a good flavor. I could have boiled this with the tomato. If you want, you can boil it with the tomato, but I, because I want the flavor of this pepper, so I don't boil it with my tomato. So I bring this in now. That will give it a nice smell. A nice flavor. It made the stew set really, really nice. So the stew is looking nice already. Now we begin to season the stew. So we bring in no chicken. 
two no chicken. The curry powder. Like a tablespoon of curry powder. Some maggi sauce. Like a spoon of maggi sauce we do. This is why stew always tastes nice because a lot goes inside it. So stock pot cannot come in. So I'm using chicken and meat stock pot. To give it a good flavor. I've got my blended crayfish here that can come in as well. And then the dry fish. This dry fish has been cleaned and the, the bones have been taken out. So we put that in. the meat water cannot come in you know, the meat sauce um, that is the shaki and the and the what's it called the bomo with the meat sauce cannot come inside the stew now I'm just gonna pour that in It's a very big pot of stew. So I'm going to allow that to cook for about 20 minutes. Let it cook. Everything simmer together, dry very well. Then the stew will be ready. So the stew is been boiling now. You can see it's already um, the stew has dried up a bit. So we've taken out the fish. I uh, will need to put the fish inside. The fish was grilled before in the oven. So the meat also is ready. The chicken and everything is re it's ready. So we can put that in the stew now. So we allow the meat and the everything to cook well with the stew. Our stew is ready now. You can see it. the flavor and everything. It smells really, really good. Let's taste now. Oh my goodness. That's delicious. That's really, really, really good. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Here we go. Here is the finishing. That's um, Nigerian stew served with a basmatic rice with some salad. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you like this cookie today, give it thumbs up. Um, leave your comment in the comment section. And thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you.